Hello ladies and gentlemen, welcome to a new review. Behind us is the new Kia Pro C the GT. This is the performance edition and we're gonna check it out. But uh, I'm on a Zurich Auto Show in Switzerland. If you wanna see more, subscribe to the channel and click the bell to get notified when I upload new videos. Without further ado, let's just jump into the review. Hey ladies and gentlemen, here's the first look of the new Kia Pro C GT on the channel. Uh, gorgeous look. We saw the GT line uh, of the Pro C in the uh, Barcelona we're now in Zurich Switzerland so let's check the details uh, same new redesigned LED headlights uh, what's interesting and new is on the GT you get this in chrome you get a little black and red accents on the rear of course GT I think on the other model GT line was on the other side and you get some red accents on the bottom still black uh, air intake on the side, on the bottom, and on the top. Uh, radar for the cruise control. New Kia badge, more minimalist, clean look, premium ish. If you look at the car, I'm gonna go around and then come to the side so you can see the car looking really gorgeous. Shooting brake. Check the alloys. Have a gorgeous diamond cut alloys. So these are, let me see if I can find the tire dimension. So these are 22540 R18. Beautiful red contrasts, also the brake calipers red. A little skirt on the bottom, contrasting mirrors. Interesting, they decided to keep the chrome. Set them for to get black. Another look there. And then the most interesting part is the bottom and the uh, dual exhaust, nice big uh, pipes, oval design. Actually, this is a mock-up, but there is an actual pipe there. And then we have this reflectors and some sort of uh, red accent diffuser. Uh, gorgeous LED taillights, wish they were connected actually in the middle, but still looking nice. And if we open it up, it's electronic. I'm gonna back up so you can see the whole car in the frame. There we go. Opens nice and tall. Have a backing camera. Two warm lights, you can close with a button. Uh, very spacious cargo space. Um, it's not flat, but you get extra five, six fingers of height. So uh, it's nice and long. You have two speakers here, I believe for the JBL. Uh, there's a shutter here missing. You might have noticed that. You have grocery hooks, both ends. You have a light here, additional compartment here. Uh, tether points here. Someone told me so that these, uh, these feel plasticky, but they're actually, this is not plastic. This is uh, metal. Tether the points are there, you have a space in there. Sorry, it's a little bit dark. That is spacious over here. Extra load on both ends there and loads of space over here. So you can fit an emergency triangle here and a first aid. Seats knocked down 60-40, no middle opening, unfortunately. Close it up. Um, again, as mentioned, we're in Zurich Auto Show. Let's get on the front where you're gonna spend most of your time and just not to miss, have a blind spot and a little warning there. Driver's side has a little button here. Good opening and closing sound. Soft materials, memory seats. Uh, we have some red contrast stitching and this is leather all nice and soft uh, it looks high quality finish you can lock the rear all power windows automatic uh, folded mirrors JBL speakers nice room for bottle area a bit plasticky though and some small aluminium doorstep here's the tire pressure information GT carpets aluminium sport paddles electronic seats 
This is for the lumbar, uh, excuse me, this one's for the lumbar, this is for the tilt. Um, nice leather with red contrast stitching, Alcantara in the middle. Looking gorgeous, nice and wide. Big bolsters and GT on the top. Let's hop inside. Now, we don't have the key and the windows open, so we'll have still noise. Uh, light uh, height uh, elimination for the cluster. Uh, lane assist, side uh, uh, or rewarning. Uh, hold to open and close, traction off. And switching to wide lens. So this is the GT, performance edition. Um, some small details, the rest is Pretty much the same besides the seats and some contrast stitching inside. Uh, the rest is almost the same. So let's check some details here. Soft uh, leather on the top. Uh, these JBL speakers don't look really anything different than the standard model. Steering wheel, got uh, leather on the top, nice and smooth. Uh, Peripherated on the sides, flat bottom. GT aluminium. Finish with some red contrast stitching. Uh, it's a nice Dutch Kia new logo, kind of minimalist. Again, very nice and clean. Feels more premium. Then some nice uh, physical buttons, sport paddles, uh, light rain. Uh, excuse me, wiper switches. Um, steering column is manual. And on the top here, we have a nice big screen. A few capacitive touch buttons, but we still have this nice knobs. I tried turning it odd, just doesn't work. If you get a GBL, get it there. Start stop again, just for those who might not believe. No key, unfortunately. Classical AC controls, uh, buttons, heated seat, and steering wheel. Uh, the thrust on the rear, a wireless charger for your phone, USB A, Fovel outlet, and another USB A for fast charging. A little rubber mat if you want to put something there. Uh, nice new sport uh, lever for the automatic. Some perforated leather on the top with a red contrast stitching. Shift to lock. And uh, driving modes or sport modes. Uh, auto off, parking sensors and parking cameras. Electronic parking brake, auto hold. Shutter with the nice matte black. Adjustable cup holders. No rubber mat on the bottom. Piano black here, not a huge fan, but it kind of goes nice with this black-red combo. Interesting, you know, red stitching on the middle armrest. It's soft, it doesn't extend, opens up. Uh, fairly okay space, there's a carpet on the bottom. Now, uh, on the top, you have the uh, good overview on the rear, warm lights, still not cold. Slowly opening, we have some carpet inside as well for your glasses. Uh, black roof. And we have a privacy, big privacy mirror, documents holder. You can turn this on, and then when you close it, it shuts off. Uh, let's see, does it extend? So this area is here not covered, so unfortunately it doesn't. Uh, and the driver's side doesn't have that handle on the top. Now these seats are really excellent. You can extend this uh, headrest. Just looking gorgeous. I really gotta say I like it. And for two meter tall person or 6.6. So let's see, I can go a little bit forward. And if this is the lowest position, sorry, uh, the camera, I realized it went a little bit there. So uh, enough headspace for a two meter tall person or 6.6. Let's get on the rear. Maybe I went a little bit too much on the front, so I'm hitting with my knees the steering column. But let's just see the back space. Good opening and closing sound. Maybe the door handles, they can work on that. Good seals as well. Hard plastics on the rear, but this is soft. Uh, power windows, here has seats. All the same. Aluminium doorstep, again, same leather seats. So plenty of, huh, I would say plenty of feet room. Uh, yeah, but uh, when in the lowest position, uh, kind of hard to move, but uh, plenty of knee room. Great closing sound. Here have 
AC on the rear uh, and a 12 volt outlet for fast charging. Uh, small transmission tunnel. This is nice and soft here as well. Can stand a cup holder to here. It's a shame they didn't add a opening for maybe skis or something similar. Again, the seats are nice and wide. Very comfortable, I gotta say. This is the look on the rear. Again, missing the shade, but you have a nice seat pillar window there. Uh, handles here with the grocery hook. Oh, excuse me. Um, shirt, shirt, a shirt, or uh, yeah, hook. And free closing. <clears throat> so on the rear, uh, it's slipping roof. Two meter police person. A problem, but for an average 180, 190 or less should be fairly good. Let's get on the front and see the bonnet, what's inside. Uh, so Turbo GDE or GDI. Uh, and here's your washer fluid. You have to use a little leg, unfortunately. Uh, but it is what it is. Closes nice and easy, perfectly. I gotta say, I like the looks of the new Pro CD GT shooting brake. Again, we're in Swiss in Zurich. So 1.6 TGDE GT, 204 horsepower, automatic. Here are the uh, standard, maybe in options. Probably translate this to euros, but you can see the full spec there. Uh, and of course, you have the uh, lane assist camera, light and rain sensor for the incoming traffic, uh, dimming of the mirrors. Another look inside. What I really like to hear is the exhaust, but unfortunately, we cannot turn it on. And on the top, a nice spoiler with the sport light on the top on the Proceed GT. So tell me in the comments how do you like the new Proceed GT? So thank you for watching, be a cool person, smash the like button, uh, leave your comment below what you think about the new Kia Proceed GT. If you want to see more, I'm on auto shows, so subscribe, click the little bell to get notifications when I upload those new videos. There's going to be plenty of new videos, so uh, stay safe, I'm going to see you in the next one, bye.